All right, basketball fans, we are here. We have arrived. Final game, 2023 Canada Basketball Girls National Championships. This is the 17U gold medal matchup. We have in white, Quebec. And in blue, we have the host province, Alberta. We're gonna pause for a second here while we do starting lineups. folks let me talk to you we have Alberta getting here by virtue of knocking off Ontario in the semifinals yesterday Quebec takes down Manitoba to find themselves here in the finale bronze medal game for this age group was phenomenal between those two teams that we just mentioned Manitoba was up 12 heading into the final frame three at the final buzzer from Stella Scro from Ontario put it into overtime in which Ontario ran away with it with 11-0 run to claim the bronze. Now folks, these ladies came here this week. They're here to chew bubblegum and win gold and they are all out of bubblegum. We are here for the top spot and we are off. Alberta will control. That is Jada Quealy gaining possession. Look for good things from her today. The ball now with Olivia Leung. Borderline triple-double yesterday, defeating Ontario. She was Alberta's best player. Has been one of their top stars all week. She is excellent. Look for big things from her in tonight's matchup. Will be tough, though. Quebec's guards, uh, Denis and Demoa. They're so quick, they hit the light switch, and they're in bed before the room gets dark. So fast, so quick, so smart. Going to be tough for Olivia uh, to get things done. But phenomenal guard matchup, phenomenal forward matchups. Couldn't ask for more here from the Jack. And on cue, Olivia Leung delivers the pull-up J. 2-0 Alberta on their first possession. Great cut. And Quebec evens it up right away. Leung will handle for Alberta. She gives it to Queeley. Also going to face some pressure. Over into the corner. Midiyevic with the screen. The young controls. She steps through, puts it up again. That one's off the mark. Does not touch the hands of Augustine, who was tremendous herself for Quebec yesterday. Absolutely dominant in the paint. And never mind, we do get an adjustment from the officials. Ball will stay with Alberta here. Just a chance to uh, add to their total early on. Nice cut, good find. That's going to be Ari Ernie Aranuha getting it done. Nice one-handed skip, great pass over... The hoop doesn't find anything, but Quebec squeezes that board. No reset on the shot clock. They're going to have to put it up again. That one finds the bottom. Three-pointer, 5-4 early lead for La Belle Provence. It's getting noisy in here already. 15 new girls from Alberta here to support their big sisters on the 17s. Quebec squad likewise front row watching, cheering on. Olivia in the lane, she's off the mark, rebound. That's number 13, uh, Lex and Bissette with the board. And up early to Augustine, her first points of the contest. 7-4 Quebec, just a shade over two minutes into this one. 
Nidia at strong off two feet, gets the call, going to the line for two. A few more folks piling into the Jack Simpson Gymnasium here at the University of Calgary. It's been a great week here. Phenomenal tournament, great games in both the 15U, 17U, but this hopefully should be the best one of the tournament. Front iron splits the pair for Nidiyevich. Denny controls, skips over. Bang! That is Alex N. Bessette. Clean from deep. Working off the ball screen. This is Queeley. She gets up top. Again, these Quebec guards so quick, great hands. Alberta's going to have to be strong with the handle to withstand the pressure that they can put on the ball. Nice little lift. Swish it is. That's Queeley. These teams did match up earlier in this tournament. Quebec did take the win. So Alberta looking for revenge here. It's like the Raw after Mania setting up. The storyline has been set. Rebound coming out. Olivia Leung for three. That's long. Demoa. She, again, excellent yesterday for Quebec. Great take, creates contact. She will go to the line for a pair. New checks coming in. Suzuki and Tong for Alberta. Again, you go down the depth chart for both these teams, and it's hard to find a hole on the roster. Loaded with talent from top to bottom. Also, the coaching staff's outstanding. Diana Ross, Stephanie Blay, and Frédéric Pavin for Quebec. Alberta led by soon-to-be ex-Albertan, Isabelle Armand. We're sorry to see her go. Taking our talents out to BC to be the head coach for the UBC Thunderbird women's program. Her assistants, Lauren Green, Megan Wickstrom, Haley Fedek, Mary St. Amand. Always well-dressed and coordinated there. And travel, catching that hop step. Little extra on the footwork there by Nidhi Yeich. 10-7. Quebec out in front by three here early on in the first. Tipped away, and Quebec retains possession now. Cross working. Suzuki, great defense on a tough check. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Block shot, but we've got an issue. Yartong goes down. Knee, ankle area she's holding on to. Trainers out quickly to evaluate. Hate to see a near injury early in a championship game like this. Hopefully everything will be all right for Yar and she's able to get back in. Or maybe a cramp, maybe a Charlie horse. Again, hope for nothing too serious here um, for the forward for Alberta. Solid week of basketball across the country. Boys championships have wrapped up out in uh, Quebec. They were played in Sherbrooke at Bishop's University. And on our Alberta notes, our 17U boys, also in the gold medal match, fell to Ontario. Our 15U boys were in the uh, bronze medal game and dropped it to BC. So a silver medal coming home to Alberta from those championships. Um, our 15U girls here in Alberta, they played for fifth today and were able to accomplish that goal. And they will take that spot as their final placement here. Now, the only thing left to be decided across the land, who will reign supreme in the 17U girls draw? Alberta, Quebec. We are only four minutes into this contest. It's been some outstanding play already. Pressure early trap here from Quebec. And a turnover. 
Great double team, did a good job not getting split and not fouling. Pull up from behind the screen. Bottom of the twine, Denis. Big shot early, the pressure remains. They force another turnover. Demoa catches, Bissette, she goes on the take. Nice dump off. Marie Grace Tele Mariokum gets the finish. Tough stretch there for Alberta. Now they are down 15 to seven. Good timeout from the Alberta coaching staff. Time to reset things, the pressure getting to them. Uh, in the backcourt, they need to adjust. Quebec being aggressive with the double teams on the first catch. So, need to make that adjustment. Um, they've got to find a way to get the ball out of those deep corners, get it to the middle where it's hard to trap, take those options away. Good to see our 15 new staff from Alberta there sitting behind the bench. Shout outs to Coach Sarah Neufeld, Craig Newman. Marissa Linquist and Cole W. He did tell me how to pronounce it, but I'm still not even going to try because it's the hardest name I've seen here on a sheet this week, even though I've known Cole for a few years now. Can't do it, won't do it. I'm already going to embarrass myself enough butchering everything else. Quebec right now stomping that mud hole, walking it dry with their press. Alberta needs to recover, needs to get things going. We need to see some electrifying moves from them. And they'll make a change there at guard. Suzuki in, giving Olivia Leung a little break. And a chance to clear her head after a couple of turnovers. Screen up high, and then they peel it away. Going to have Ernie setting the screen for Jada. Suzuki gets it. Kicks it out. Ernie steps back. A little piece on that one. Nice block. Tale Madokum. Denis handling. Comes off that screen at the elbow. Feeds it back. The set now. Cross and go on the jab. Off the mark, bodies on the floor, going to be a foul. And that's on Alberta. Aranuha will pick that one up. Alberta girls settling out on the floor. We're going to have a fresh set of legs coming in. Kyla Karich checking in for the first time. She's going to replace Ernie Aranuha. Again, she's been real solid all week for Alberta. First one rattles home for Bissett. Second one is good. Check coming in. Augustine coming back in for Quebec for Bissett. Again, strong play from their forward, strong play from their guards. You're not going to find a lot of holes on this Quebec roster. They've been the class of the tournament this week so far. It would be a little bit of an upset if Alberta pulls this off, but obviously, again, keeping, trying to keep my bias out of it uh, as a proud Albertan. But uh, these, uh, these Quebec girls are great. And, uh, but if Alberta can pull the upset, we'd be pretty proud of them here. Nice extra, good ball movement. Again, the hallmark of Quebec's play this week has been the unselfish play, the ball movement looking for one another. When you've got five players out on the floor who are all threats, they move the ball like that. Uh, another and one opportunity coming here uh, with Marie Grace Tale Mariochtum going to the line. 19-7. Alberta gonna need to find some offense. Maybe a little shook after seeing their teammate Yartong go down. She's still being evaluated on the side. Uh, perhaps we will get an update here uh, by the quarter break. Hope she's doing all right.
And a little adjustment needing to be made to the shot clock. My eyes don't deceive me as I am 8,000 feet away from the court, but I believe that's our local Alberta official, Rian. Great up-and-coming official here in Alberta, starting to work the college level as well. And uh, proud of him getting the nod here to come be a part of these championships. Again, players, coaches selected by their provincial sport organizations to represent their provinces and be here this week. The officials selected also from their provincial bodies up through the C, uh, through the CBOC. Um, it's a real honor to be selected as an official for this. That means you're doing something right and really uh, growing and progressing as an official. Great development opportunity. They get great feedback and growth and development here. But again, quality officiating we've had there this week. So uh, kudos and shout outs to our referees. Um, they have a difficult job, but they're doing it real well here uh, in the jack and in the red all week long. Quebec out in transition after that Alberta miss. They're going to be off there, but second chance. 22 to 7. Things not going Alberta's way here early on. And that's Nidijic. That'll be a block. She'll get a chance to go to the line. 4-2. Again, so we've seen some big swings in games here. Alberta finding themselves down 15 early. They are going to need one of those swings. Again, Quebec's speed and athleticism playing a factor here early on. But nice shot there. Nidhi Yeich putting it in the bottom. Putting another point on the board for Alberta. That one rattles out. Quebec secures the rebound. And again, look for them with that crisp ball movement. Two crisp passes, creating advantage already. A third nice pass. A fourth nice pass. Denis, wide open. Wow. When you move the ball like that, the defense finds itself in a tough spot. And again, again, they still got to make the shots, but Denis steps up and gets it done. There's another bucket for Alberta, 25-10. Again, stops are going to be starting to come real critical here early for the blue and orange. If they want to get back into this, again, you're going to need to cut this down. And wow, Augustine, Quebec showed up ready to go. We saw that in the 15s final. BC came out of the gate um, ready to roll, really impressed with what I saw from the 15U BC squad. And it's not like Quebec played poorly in that game. BC was just that much better today. And uh, BC, congratulations on your 15U gold medal. Over the top, that's going to be a turnover. Alberta will regain possession. Subs coming in on both sides. Again, there again, big game, home soil for Alberta. Crowd starting to fill up a little bit more. Great to see. Olivia Leong will control. And screen here. Yeah, left a little early. Again, when the guard hesitates coming around the top of that screen and the big starts their roll uh, a little too early as the defender tries to jump over the top, um, you can get that call against you. So again, you gotta be real set and time those things right on the screen. Big point of emphasis in the FIBA game uh, on those ball screen actions, since there is so many of them. They want that to make, they want that play to be run properly uh, and executed well, or else you're gonna see those calls. Conversely, as a defender, you can't just bowl through the screen either. Uh, the, the offensive player has, everyone has the right to their space on the floor. Again, the ball movement from Quebec is outstanding. Nice little give and go on the back cut through the mid post area to the baseline back cutter. Alberta with nice passing right there too, but can't find the mark. Again, Brooke Wagner probably like to have that one back. Wow. What a pass, not quite there on the finish. And front of the rim off, Wagner off again. Third chance coming here for Alberta. Leung to control. There's a screen. She gets to step behind, pull that shot. And off to Moa with the rebound. Oh, 
ball screen action here for Quebec. Not much out of it. Demoa goes, creates contact, no call. Leung goes, stops, turns, slows it down. Turn in the corner. Looking inside to Wagner. There it is. Good job by Brooke Wagner. Missed a couple before, finds the bottom on that one. Much needed points for Alberta, 29-12. Three-point play opportunity coming up. Augustine, she has been solid all week. Nothing changing here tonight as she gets the end one opportunity coming up. Fouls accumulating on Alberta, the lead growing. We're gonna need to see a change in the weather here. And it's Alberta, so wait five minutes. It will change. Hopefully here in the Jack, we can see that for Alberta's sake. Quebec already starting to, uh, to build a pretty big lead. Chance to go up 20 if this free throw drops. And it does, 32 to 12 in favor of La Belle Provence. Turnover against the pressure. Quebec regains it. Bluffs the handoff, turns the corner. That kind of felt like extra steps. I was a little blocked out, 34 to 12. Alberta in trouble here early. Some coaches will tell you they don't like playing these kind of games at home. Again, potential for added distractions. Maybe feeling a little too comfortable. Or maybe it's the added pressure of playing in front of more family and friends uh, that can play it, play a factor in a game like this. Having said that, Quebec is an excellent team. Um, it's no surprise to see them doing well. Um, but Alberta definitely capable of more. And uh, I think we'll see better from them in the second. But early on here, Quebec Putting Alberta in a big hole, 34 to 12. We're gonna need to see things turn around here for the blue, orange, and white. Quebec though, as we've said, have just been excellent all week. Not surprising to see them in the position that they are in. Uh, leading the way so far, Augustine with 11, Denis with nine, Tale Matarokum with seven. For Alberta, Nidijevic with four, and then several others with two. So, looking at what they need to do to turn around, Alberta's got to handle the pressure better. Um, Quebec, uh, their athleticism, uh, giving them trouble um, in the backcourt. Um, Alberta has to find a way to also keep containment of Quebec. When Quebec gets swinging that ball, it is causing them nightmares on the offensive end. The unselfish play by Quebec is impressive to watch. It is causing problems for Alberta and they're gonna need to find a way to adjust. Again, Alberta does have some zone in the bag, um, but Quebec also proving that they can shoot the three well. So again, risk reward with tactics here. We're gonna see what adjustments Coach Ormond and the staff make. Meanwhile, Coach Diana Ross has her team ready to go tonight. So if they can just continue to do what they've been doing, Good things will continue to happen for them. Quebec supporters making the run down the sideline. Not to be outdone, Alberta one's right behind them. Again, early deficit for Alberta, but 30 minutes to go here still at the Jack. Beautiful campus of the University of Calgary, Foothills region of Alberta, Rocky Mountains off to our west. Sun will be setting shortly after the conclusion of this game. It's beautiful to watch. But let's watch some beautiful basketball here for the next 30. Horn goes. Players black out on the court. 
Let's get things underway here in the second quarter. There's the flash in the post. It is the zone look. Figured we might see that. And Quebec finds their way through. The side changes with these skip passes are impressive. That is part of why they're able to get so open here. Um, great job by Quebec moving that ball. No one on their team hesitates to make a play. Uh, high level of confidence um, by all their athletes that they can contribute um, in any way and every way. Again, looking inside, over the top, poked away. And they're gonna say that's off the fingertips. That's Victoria Davson. Not able to corral that pass on the post-to-post -post look. Ball in behind the curtains. Appropriately red and black, black themed for Canada basketball. Also UFC Dinos, uh, some colors in there. So convenient. And Kyle Lowry finding the ball back there. Flash to the middle. Just takes away the opportunity for pressure for Alberta. They're gonna need to stay aggressive, um, but it's, it's risky with how good Quebec is moving the ball. And not only does the ball move, the player movement uh, matching the ball movement. Um, just great stuff from Quebec so far. Behind the back, kick out. And just short, but again, that pass, even after that nice around the back dribble, the pass is on time, on target. Shooter with the feet set. Good basketball being played by Quebec. Olivia Leung puts one up. Again, seen this a little bit from Alberta this week. When it's not going their way, the ball doesn't move as well. And they don't, uh, if they take shots that they're okay, but they could be better. Nice hands defensively there though. And they're gonna need more of that. Again, Olivia Leung struggling a little bit early here after making her first bucket, um, unable to find the cup again. And Alberta, they need it to runneth over in this contest. Clean jumper, Augustine. Impressed with her all week long. She is good. There's a take from Jada Queeley. And rolls off. Again, when it's not going your way, it's not going your way. That's a good take. Just doesn't go down. Quebec inside. They rip lip one out too. Out. That one misses the mark. Alberta will take possession. Great hustle from ABA general manager Jeff Bailey getting on that loose ball. Love to see it, Jeff. Jeff is going to join me at halftime. Uh, special message from us at ABA. Uh, in the last five minutes before we come back for the third. So stay with us at halftime. Love to have you uh, on for that uh, special message. Foul going to the rim. Nitty Yeats draws a call. Leading score for Alberta so far with four. Trying to make it six. And boy, do they need them. Right now, 36 to 12, Alberta being tripled up by Quebec. And soft roll, home court roll, if you will. Nitty Yage putting the first one in. Second one clean in the bottom. Poked away, but call going to be made. That's on Ernie Aranuha. 7.22 to go here, second quarter. That's the first foul on Alberta. Number eight, Kyla Karch coming back in. Going to give Ernie a breather. 
High post look. A little bit of a bump, got away with that there. You'll take that if you're Alberta. Off the screen. Idiot misses the mark. Denny, spin, keeps her feet. Demoa up top. She crosses, poked from behind. Chance for a run out here for Alberta, but Denny tracking from behind, and she will get a hand on it. Deborah, the flash, Demoa. Quick. Queeley controls up top. Here comes the screen from Wagner. Gonna rescreen it. Nope. Queeley rejects, goes the other way. Nita Yates, straight line to the rim. And one. St. Lawrence Seaway opens up. Nita Yates drives that boat home. Sub will come in now. Number two checking in for Quebec. This is Serena Mayel to show. And can't convert the three point play the old fashioned way. It goes down for Denise. She came to play tonight. No messing around from her. She wants that gold medal. Suzuki on the take. Blocked, body down low, looked clean up top. But if you're Alberta right now, you'll take that. Trouble for them is getting stops at the moment. They're starting to find a little more rhythm on offense. Um, but yeah, Quebec scoring at will at the moment. And they're gonna have to find a way to adjust almost 40 points already, 39-16. We're only four minutes into the second frame. First one goes for Suzuki. Trying to get both here in this pair. She stands pretty far back from the line. She likes the little hop, uh, not the full set shot like you see from most free throw shooters. And Quebec's going to throw that one of the way. One of the rare sloppy plays from them uh, tonight. Two players in the same area, not sure who that pass was going to. They will pick up in pressure, though, as they have done um, all evening here. Suzuki rips and goes, finds Wagner. That's going to be another call. Nice find. Suzuki to Wagner in the lane on the drive. Wagner's been around the rim all night. Um, made some, missed some, but good, draw, good work drawing the call here. We're going to see number seven coming in, Ellie Clausen. Checking out Kyla Karich. Wagner a little long on the first. Clean through the bottom on the second. 39-18 in favor of Quebec. Middle flash, good job. Simple press break here from Quebec. Get it in, find their guards, use their natural ability to go. That one's up, that one's off. Nitty Yeich with the glass. She will take, tries to go coast to coast, loses it off her knee. Again, you don't mind her, she's being very aggressive right now. She's trying to make some things happen for Alberta. Perhaps see a little bit more movement, get everybody involved. But again, you're starting to press here uh, mentally as, as again, you see the score and what it is. Again, nothing out of reach here if we can just settle in for Alberta. But again, Quebec 
has been the class of the tournament all week. Showing it again here tonight. Look at that ball movement. Again, very few dribbles over half there. That was done with passing and cutting. Great basketball from Quebec. Again, that stems from great coaching, no doubt. Again, and then the buy-in to the coaching too. That is really key. You can have great coaching, but if the athletes don't buy in to the message, that's different. So obviously, Coach Ross doing a phenomenal job with this group, getting them to believe in team basketball. Nidijevic with the steal. See what we're going to get here. Two foot step through. And just off the mark. Nice pass, soft touch. Off the mark though. Second chance. And who else? That is Patricia Augustine. Getting it done for Quebec on the second chance off the miss in transition. Timeout. Charged to Alberta. Again, trying to keep this in striking distance. 421 left here in the second. Alberta's gonna need to get going and get going quick. Again, we see uh, we see Yartong back on the bench, knee taped heavily. Uh, I don't know if we'll be seeing her again uh, here today. That is unfortunate. She can be uh, a good player for Alberta. Um, hate to see an injury like that happen in a big game like this. Hopefully she's okay. Coaches connect quickly. Now Coach Ormond into the huddle. Coach Ross running hers. Again, some great up and coming. And now here, female coaches here in Canada. Great to see them uh, coaching here this week. Again, a few male coaches on these staffs as well, but outstanding coaching from women here in our country. Wherever you may be, support the women coaching in your province, in your city, in your community. Again, unique needs between Male coaches, female coaches, make sure you talk to them, find out what they need, what you can do to help. We need to keep more women in coaching. Um, athletes playing, um, there's more of a drop off on the women's side. We wanna see everyone continue in this great sport of ours. Let's make sure we're doing all we can to support athletes, coaches, and officials uh, on the women's side of things. Olivia Leung back into the game. In their action. She rips and goes. She's going to get to the cup and draw the contact. A little bit better team basketball from Alberta on that possession. It results in a trip to the line for Olivia Leon. Shot goes down. First one. A lot of green shoes out there. A lot of green shoes clashes a little bit with both these uniforms. That one goes down. You can see uh, communication happening on the Alberta side. Setting up their defense here. Looks like we're getting a 2-3. A little extension of it up towards half. Looking to funnel the ball a little bit. Kind of bluffs the trap. Quebec with the catch. Peace on that one. Good job. Alberta forces a quick shot and a miss. Going to need more of those. Trying to get back to this. Now they've broken the 20-point barrier. Quebec, of course, already broken the 40-point barrier. That'll help. Let me talk to you. Nitty Yech. Three-point thunder bomb for Alberta. Swing it, another block on the jumper, but it goes right back to number nine for Quebec. They stick with it. Second missed opportunity. Alberta getting a little break there. Chance to get it within 20. Nice hook pass, a little, ooh, some heat on that one. A little too hot to handle. Ball back over to Quebec, right idea. Again, a little bit of it, there's the differences, right? Again, on time, on target, passing from Quebec. 
again, the right pass, the right idea on the pass, but the execution of the pass on that one from Alberta just a little bit off. Again, here in Calgary, home of the Hitman, we need the excellence of execution down the stretch here to uh, decide who the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be here in 2023 for the 17U Girls Canada Basketball National Champions. We've got 23 minutes total left in this one, 3.05 left in the first half. Coach Ormond working things in the timeout. Coach Ross likewise. All the athletes dialed in. Alberta building a little bit of momentum here in the last minute or so. Minute and a half perhaps since their last timeout. They need it. Again, Quebec has five fouls on them this quarter. Alberta in the bonus. If they can continue to be aggressive going to the rim and drawing calls, maybe get a few easy ones from the stripe. Quebec's tandem of guards, Demoa and Denis. That one's off the mark. Good rebound, though, by 13. That is Bissette. Kick out, Bissette gets it on the perimeter. A little lift. Steps up for the mid-range. Back iron. Board by Aaron Uha. Chance for Alberta. Again, take another cut in the lead. Shot goes up. Side rim. And we're going to get a foul on the rebound. That'll put Ernie Aranuha on the line. And again, that's the advantage of being in the bonus. A couple of shots here for Alberta due to five being called already on Quebec. Again, we've seen some outstanding basketball here all day and all week. I've been fortunate enough to do, this is my fifth game of the day here in the Jack. It's been my pleasure, absolute pleasure, to call these games here, having a lot of fun. Don't get to do this very often, as busy with uh, the day-to-days of coaching and working, but uh, getting this week here in Calgary to call these games, having a blast. Great second chance for Alberta, 26 on the board for them now. Still trailing with 43 on the board for Quebec. That'll be a foul on Alberta. We'll put Quebec on the line. Great to see, uh, again, highlighting the 15U squads here to cheer on uh, the big sisters on the 17Us, having a little fun. It's, the, it's like happy taunts. There's a lot of happy birthday singing and things. It's uh, positive chatter, positive chirping. Uh, from the crowd, and that is fine. That's a lot. That's good, clean fun here at the Jack Simpson. As we've highlighted, this gym has been tough on Quebec this year. They've been in some big games in different levels, and uh, right now is looking like their best chance to come out a winner in a championship scenario. And Augustine makes both 45 26 19 point lead for quebec hard double on olivia leung by augustine and aaron uha will get it over nitty yeich will control or sorry that was queely now olivia leung she'll take and she'll score Again, needed for Alberta right there. Every possession big. Wow. Again, the team basketball by Quebec. Getting done. Look to the middle, girls. Look to the middle, please. Again, they're getting, they're putting it on that sideline, and that's giving Quebec an opportunity to trap. Although we find ourselves with an opportunity here. And that's going to be a deep three. Gutsy shot by Nidhi Yeich. But again. Right now, Alberta, any score is good. A little high risk, high reward, but reward granted on that one. Off the mark, kick out. Oh, the answer 
from La Belle Provence. Again, they're, Quebec's good enough if you give them one chance. You give them two. Don't you play with me because you're playing with fire. But answer from Olivia Leung. Again, 50-33 on the board. Final minute of the first half. It's been mostly Quebec. And there's another one putting their total to 52. Again, their pressure uh, doing damage against Alberta. But when Alberta gets into their rhythm in the half, they're quite good too. But Quebec with the advantage. Livy Leung off the screen. Good show from Bissette to keep her contained. She misses the mark. Saved. But Quebec will gain possession. Chance to come down. Final possession. Off the mark. That'll stay here with Quebec. They do have a timeout. Coach Ross will use it. I would. I think that's a smart move. Savvy, if you will. Or maybe, yeah, no, they are coming in. See, I know what I'm talking about. Every now and then I get something right. Again, you're Quebec here. Everyone that you put out on the floor today has been a threat. Um, none bigger than Patricia Augustine with 21. Denis with 15. Seven for Tale Madokum. The set was seven. Nidhi Yeich now with 16 for Alberta. Olivia Leung with eight. So they've started to come on a little stronger. What's 21 in French? Vente 1? Vente 1? 15? Cannes? 14 or Cannes? Someone let me know. I haven't had to do my numbers in French in a while, except 1, 2, 3. I'm just doing my best to keep these names in order. Hopefully I'm doing all right. Again, Quebec, we love you. Apologies if my pronunciations are not the best. Back iron doesn't go, and we will go into the half. Quebec, 52, Alberta, 33, 19-point lead for Quebec. Alberta going to need to dig deep and find something here heading in. Again, we highlighted the scoring just now. Rebounds, Bissette and Augustine. Bissette rebounds. Cease assist for Bissette. Trois assists for Denis. Those are numbers I can handle. Anything under 10, I think I got you. But the way it's going today, there's going to be a lot of double figures uh, for Quebec in a lot of categories. They are playing a great game. Box score wise, Quebec shooting 45% overall from the floor. 50 from the two, 37 from the three, 75% from the line on six of eight. Alberta, 37% overall, 42 from two, 25 from three, and nine of 15 for 60% from the stripe. Quebec, sizable advantage in the rebound and assist category. Uh, turnover's probably a little kind here. Says that only Alberta only has nine, but Quebec, clean. Very, very clean on the turnovers, only four. That is a great number uh, when you're looking at things as a coach. Um, Coach Ross has to be happy with that number uh, heading into the break here. So, again, thanks for being with us here. Final game of the 2023 Canada Basketball National Championships from Calgary. The boys' championships have wrapped up. Our 15 division, 15 U division here has wrapped up. This is it. This is all heading into the second half. Only thing left to be decided, who's going to be golden, who's going to be silver for the 17U girls this year. We will see you again. Five minutes to go uh, here at halftime. Stay with us, special message coming from Alberta Basketball.
And thanks for coming back here with us a little early uh, to start the second half coverage. As I said, with ABA, we wanted to take a minute here uh, and do some special acknowledgements. This has been an outstanding week here uh, in Calgary. I'm uh, lucky to be joined now by ABA, I don't know, all things ABA, Mr. Jeff Bailey, our general manager. Jeff, thanks for hopping on with me here for a couple of minutes. Well, thanks for having me on, uh, on the play-by-play, -play, Reagan. And, and, if, and if I can, before we you know, do the, the recognition that's truly deserved, I want to give you a shout-out for an outstanding job this week, Reagan. You've been flying solo at times on the play-by-play, -play, listened to some of the playback, heard some of the feedback from people who've been listening, and you've just been doing a, a wonderful job. And I think you need to take a little <laughs> bit of a bow for, for doing that and carrying the carrying the broadcast throughout the week when you've had a chance to be on here. So thank you for that, Reagan. Well, I've had, I've, I, was, I was telling the people before that uh, I'm having a blast doing it. It's a lot of fun. Um, I got to talk hoops for 10 hours straight today. Um, I might not talk hoops until I start my college season a little later on. But again, thank you, Jeff. Uh, again, privileged to be a part of, uh, of our team here with Alberta basketball. Oh, thank you, Reagan. And, you know, the privilege is all mine. I've been involved in, with this organization for, for quite some time now, 15 years to be exact. And uh, I, I can think of no other team that I want to be a part of or be putting off this event uh, than with our staff and, and with the team that's been here this week. And, you know, I'd be remiss if we didn't take a moment here to just thank, you know, some of the people involved. It, you know, we mentioned earlier at the start of this, the opening ceremony, that events like this don't happen on their own. And we want to give a big shout out to the volunteers who are here this week to, to help us run this event, who are doing every task imaginable from running the score table down on the floor to running the shot clock, this game clock, and sweeping the court in between timeouts and whistles, keeping the hospitality room going. Um, they're the folks in the yellow, bright yellow shirts that you see out there, and, and they're, they're doing the yeoman's work out there keeping this, game, this thing going. Um, but I also want to be, you know, a big thank you uh, and a big shout out to uh, Canada Basketball and their team that they have here in, in the red and black, uh, and to the Alberta basketball team as well. Uh, yourself, Reagan, Natalie Hoyd, Dion Crystal, Topaz and Yanni, and Annecy, who's not here with us. Um, it, a lot of time and effort and energy goes into this event happening and for this event to, to take place and you know little things behind the scenes that nobody sees and hopefully they never do or hear about. Uh, so big thank you to you guys for, for all your efforts and everything you do to make this happen. Yeah, absolutely, Jeff. I think you and I can both admit that this year um, Nat and Dion really uh, carried the mail for us and uh, brought us in on things as they needed us, but they have uh, they've done an outstanding job uh, putting this event together and, uh, and making it the week that it was for these young ladies. Absolutely. Now, one more big thing, um, and I know this is big for you and I, Jeff, in particular. Um, coming up at the end of the month, uh, our executive director, Mr. Paul Sir, um, is retiring, and uh, he's, I'm already getting a little choked up. He, uh, he's been uh, with us at ABA for a long time, given both of us an opportunity, not only at ABA, but as youngsters starting out in the game of basketball. For both of us, he was one of our first coaches and uh, the relationship that built and grew over so many years. Um, Jeff, the closeness that you've worked with Paul to help build ABA over the past, what, 12, 13 years now for you? F 15 years. <laughs> 15, yeah, man. Paul. We're Paul has been with ABA for 17, started off with the board and then transitioned to the executive director position. Um, there, there's no start and end to look at the imprint that Paul serves out in basketball in Alberta from a builder, from a developer, um, from an entrepreneurial stance to bringing new ideas and new business opportunities to the sport and just being a part of the overall growth uh, that our sport has undertaken in the last decade. Um, Paul Sir has been a dynamic force that his, t his tenure as ED ends on, at the end of this month, but his legacy will, will not. And it will be long-reaching and long-lasting, the, the impact he's had on basketball in Alberta. Um, to the next generations to come, my sons will know the impact of what Paul brought to this sport in our community. Yeah, and uh, Paul, back home in Iowa, where he's originally from, celebrating Mama Sir and her 90th birthday. So happy birthday to Paul's mom. 
Um, we've met her a few times here in Edmonton. Outstanding lady. Um, obviously, in knowing Paul, you you get to know uh, his mom as well. Um, you're right, Jeff. The impact that Paul has had on the game here um, will be felt for generations to come. Um, yeah. <laughs> Time of change, time of transition. We're excited for it though. We're excited to continue, uh, you and I, to continue to help build this with Nat and Dion uh, going forward. And again, as you brought up, Topaz and Annecy are summer students this year yep. who have been outstanding as well. Couldn't have done this without them. And we are 15 seconds away from starting the second half. But again, Paul, if you're listening, thanks for everything that you have done for the game of basketball in Alberta. For us, personally, professionally, everything, we could not be more grateful for everything that you have done. Now, let's see if our girls can uh, give them the final, uh, final reward with a gold medal here in the last game for Team Alberta in Paul's time as our executive director. Well, I, I know Reagan in, in that halftime locker room talk, I'm sure that the coaches and Coach Isabel and, and Lauren and, and Megan and Mary and Haley were giving them a talk to. to they're going to come out here and they're going to give it their best effort to, to claw back into this. Absolutely. And a great bucket there from Olivia Leung to get things rolling. But again, the guard play from Quebec has just been so outstanding. Kickoff and beset there. Man, Quebec, their team play has just been unbelievable tonight. Um, and it's been unbelievable all week. Hence why they came into this final. It probably is the favorite, I would say. Um, Alberta, though, right on, you know, nipping at the heels. Nidiyich with the take, and that one's off. Quebec finds it, and Leung's going to catch that pass, looking to headman it. And rims out, but Wagner on the board. She tries to stay with it, and that's going to go out of bounds for Quebec. You know, I think Quebec's talent and, and their skill has just been on display all week. Mm -hmm. I mean, they... They've brought it all week in every game. They've been consistent. They play well together. They move the ball well. You know, Alberta's right there. I'm watching this game tonight, shots aren't falling. You know, some of these shots go in, and it's a little bit of a different spread. And it's a little bit of a different game. Players play with a little different confidence and, mm -hmm. and get going a little bit more. Um, but it'll be interesting to see in the second half what our girls have and uh, what they bring to the bring to the floor. Yeah, right there, tough one. They force the turnover, and then a little sloppy on the pass. Give it right back to Quebec. Again, coming back from uh, 19 down, you're going to have to play a near Mr. Perfect second half. Again, as we've highlighted many times, we are in the home of the hitman. We need the excellence of execution here down the stretch. Well, I don't want to say that we need to be the best there is, the best there was, or the best there ever will be, but we do <laughs> need to play a more complete game. And, and I think that's something that the coaches are getting on them about right now is, is just as you said, you know, force the turnover and then take care of the ball. Yeah, and that, uh, we'll see if they can pull that together here in the, in the second yeah. half. Those little housekeeping things, so to speak. Denise short on that one. Rare miss for her in that range. She has, again, been a standout here all week. And Olivia Leung. You know, it's easy to say. You just start saying names. And you're like, well, she stood out this week, and she stood out this week. And oh, I can think of a game where she had 20. And, you know, so many players. The depth, I think, is what's really impressive. Um, we've highlighted it a few times. Uh, the bulk of our Alberta roster and the uh, almost entirety of the Quebec roster were in uh, Memphis at a special camp uh, coordinated between the NCAA and Canada basketball um, for the, uh, the top 50 athletes uh, in this age group coming from Canada to give them some exposure to what it might be like to play Division I. And Olivia Leung may be finding her way into uh, an opportunity with our neighbors to the south. Uh, with the way that she has represented this week. But, uh, yeah, this, this group of talent you're seeing out on the floor, and again, right there, dang. <laughs> the quality on the floor is, is undeniable. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a reason why all, all of these young ladies spent some time in Memphis before coming here mm -hmm. uh, and, and getting here on the red eye on Sunday. <laughs> um, that's kind, putting it, the red eye is kind, that, that, that as is the right. initial flight was canceled. This is right. <laughs> Such is travel these days. But I will mm -hmm. say, the quality that's on display on the court, it's, it's never been brighter, and it's never, it's never been higher in this country. And I think it's just been a pleasure 
uh, and a privilege to watch this next generation of athletes that's going to be leading our national teams you know to the podium finishes in the near future I, I, I know it just seeing them on the floor and seeing the confidence they have and you know I think something else that needs to be mentioned is when you look along the, the, the sideline there you see all those sponsors mm -hmm. that are on that are on display and, and those are sponsors that are not only helping to grow and develop the game basketball, but those are sponsors who are supporting women's basketball. Mm -hmm. And they are committed to making a difference and, and providing their support and putting their brand power behind supporting women's basketball, which is it's never been it's never been at a higher level and it's exciting to see where that's gonna go. Yeah, absolutely. And that's not just us blowing smoke. That is echoing comments earlier from the performance manager of women's high performance, Sir Mike McKay said the exact same thing that uh, the quality we've seen here this week and the results that we're seeing internationally from our Canadian women uh, direct reflection of that and again if anyone's out there businesses listening invest in this sport we'd love to have you on board you'll see the return again that we we in Alberta can speak to the growth in the game um, the numbers that we see in participation here in Alberta have just spiked, especially on the women's side. Again, we have that uh, special opportunity to have the women's national team, uh, the senior squad in Edmonton. So we get to see the best of the best on a yearly basis um, and get to be in the gym and see how they work. And uh, yeah, so the growth in, in women's basketball in our province, huge. Foul, yes. Let me talk to you. That is Ernie Aranuha, bucket harm one to go yeah well, no question Reagan you, you saw the the complete package right there from Ernie mm -hmm. in that finish uh, with just enough spin on it to complete the end one and get to the mm -hmm. line right now but it, it, as you said anyone who's watching right now the, the, the talent and the quality on the floor right now why not why wouldn't you want to get behind supporting that mm -hmm. and, and helping to foster that and, and grow that moving forward yeah. and, and i want to i want to thank you for pointing something out because if i said something that was even reminiscent of what <laughs> the great mike mckay has said i feel like i've picked up something here this week and i'm, I'm absorbing something so. the osmosis i've seen you sitting by him a few times uh, exchanging notes uh, maybe not the basketball specific other notes that needed to be exchanged this week so much goes on behind the scenes that uh uh, that we have to deal with that make these championships possible and, and Mike McKay essential in all of it um, in putting this uh, in this on because again the guidance and leadership we get from Mike from the technical tactical coach education side um, invaluable and the reflection again we're talking about lasting impacts on the game again we've talked about Paul's here in Alberta Mike's lasting impact um, on the women's game in Canada again will be felt should also point out uh, the special scholarship that Mike established with his parents in memory of his uh, of his parents um, this year. They, uh, we have to. I forgot to ask him when we had him on. I meant to, but uh, you know, look that up. Uh, the McKay scholarship that uh, supporting women again, as you talked about, supporting women in our great game, um, particularly for coaches. Um, so yeah, we should uh, might have to get Mike back up here to uh, to talk about that. I feel bad. I remembered it now. We had so much to talk about um, in getting Mike's perspective on the week here. Well, I think one of the things that everyone has seen all week, and, and, and I'll leave on this one because I, I, I will run as much as I've enjoyed my time on this with you, Reagan, is Mike's, Mike's wearing the retro Canada basketball jacket oh, yeah. all week that I believe is from the 1984 closet. Uh, of, <laughs> that era of, of the grand game and uh he wears that with pride and i you know he's he's got the depth of history and the foundation to take us all the way back and lead us forward so we're it's a, it's a joy it's a privilege to have mike here and anytime you can sit around and, and talk basketball with him or just listen to him talk basketball you can hear the passion in his voice and mm -hmm. you know basketball in this country is in good hands yeah never shy to share jeff thanks for being on buddy I'll let you go uh, enjoy the final uh, 16 and a half of this one. And hopefully Alberta can continue to cut into this lead like they have. They've got it down to 16. Make that 14. Olivia Leung cashing in the money in the bank briefcase right there. Well, that's quite the swerve you're talking about there, Reagan. And if anyone's <laughs> watching at home, this is even more exciting in person. Come on down to the University of Calgary, Jack Simpson Gym. 
You know, and an unforced turnover there. See if Alberta can capitalize on it. But come on down to the Jack Simpson gym. We'll get you a ticket at the front door. Come join us in the stands, and let's cheer on Alberta and see if they can put a, the final run in place here to drive this home down the stretch. And that's not going to let him slide in free in the second half? <laughs> well, <laughs> Nat would never do that. <laughs> trying to get them into the gym as well so they can check out the game. So yeah. if you're going to come down, come down soon. Yeah. All right. So you'd like to see the last 10. Jeff, we'll see you when this is over. Thanks, Reagan. It's been a pleasure. And we're going to get a foul on Quebec. Alberta going to the line. They've trimmed this down to 14. First one goes, 17 points now for Nitty Itch. Leading the way for Alberta, Olivia Leung though, getting her scoring going, she's up to 14. 18 now, lead only 12 for Quebec. Alberta's trimmed seven off the total that they need to here in the first five minutes. Two three zone from Alberta. Great little high low. Though again, the team basketball from Quebec. I don't care if I sound like a broken record. When you see it, you gotta say it. It's good. And off the iron, Olivia Leung. Again, not a bad look. Again, trying to make stuff happen. Still lots of time here. Lots of time for Alberta as they've had a good start here to the third quarter. Again, great to have Jeff on with me again there for a few minutes. Heart and soul of our organization. Um, eat, sleeps, bleeds, ABA. And uh, no one works harder for this organization. Olivia Leung inbounding, taking it up. Queely, she throws it up. And that's going to be a catch for Ernie Aranuha. Oh, travel called. Josh isn't here to get texts from refs. I'm going to go ahead and disagree with that one, even though I couldn't really see. Little bit of Alberta bias going to have to creep in on the call, even though I've been tremendously impressed with the play of La Belle Provence. Checked out. We'll stay with Quebec. Augustine to inbound. And again, she has been an absolute monster. An ultimate warrior for Quebec out there. She is not from parts unknown. She is from La Belle Provence. Off the fingertips. That's gonna go back to Alberta. Daphson to inbound, Leong now. She'll bring it. 16 point gap. Leung controls against tough pressure from Demo, And can't connect, falling into the photographer on the baseline. We've had some great social media work and photography and video from several great uh, people here volunteering. Just love the game, want to share and help grow it as we talked about. So hop on, visit us on uh, Instagram in particular. That's where I've had the most time to focus this week. Uh, shoot me a message here in the final if you uh, want to get a comment. I'll try not to ignore it. And uh, check them even though trying to stay focused on watching the action here. Short on the first for Augustine. Again, dominant performance from her so far. She has, I've got 21 on here. The big scoreboard says 24, um, but she's creeping up on a double-double. Nine, nine rebounds already as well. No doubt she'll register that double-double. Pass into the middle to Wagner. She steps one too many on the catch, which is too bad because Leung hit that three.
And Young will come out. Quick breather for her, I'm sure. Probably going to see Nidia. It's running a little bit of a point here with her out at the moment. Wheely gets the steal on the bobble by Demoa. Demoa pokes it back, turns it away. Wagner will get it back though for Alberta. Throws it up. Well, a little sloppy. Nidijic, short. Go back in transition. And gonna go to the line. That's gonna be a foul on Jada Quealy. 62-45, 3.35 to go in the third. Alberta's chipped into their lead a little bit. Would like to chip into it more, but Quebec staying tough. First one back rim and down for Damoa. Second one good as well. Back up to that 19 point lead. So anything that uh, Alberta had done at the half been undone by this latest run by Quebec. Hands on the dribbler. Alberta is in the bonus. That will send Jada Queeley to the line for two. Get these points now with the clock stopped. And good on the first. Second, good as well. Got to keep belief here if you're Alberta, that if you just take it one possession at a time, you can turn this thing around. Suzuki into the game. Oh, I think she might have got away with steps. And Coach Ormond agrees with me. Large portion of the fan base agrees with me. But the refs do not, and that's all the opinion that matters in that case. Stop, pop from behind the screen. Three ball. Off the mark, offensive rebound though. That's Tale Madok Uwam. Cross by Demoa. Dump off, off the iron though. And that's gonna be a tie up. Possession two. Looks like we're staying, oh, uh, no, Alberta ball. Substitution's in. Quigley going to grab a break. Leung back in. Nope, I was wrong. Quebec with the basketball. They inbound. Napping a little bit on that inbound. Alberta not quite ready to go, and they pay the price on the second chance. Again, got to be ready every bucket now as we get into the final 12 and a half in this game. Alberta's going to need to be sharp on every possession. Um, and that's not going to do it right there. That's going to be a time count violation in the backcourt. Again, Leung needs to take charge here, I think. Get her the basketball. Let her initiate the offense uh, for the blue and orange. Quebec on the side out. Flash to the high post. Nothing but net. That's number five. Alice Villieu making it count when given the opportunity. There's Suzuki on the drive and the reverse. Nicely done. Sakuru Suzuki with the nice reverse layup. Again, MJ, Dr. J. Suzuki, put her in the group. The Mount Rushmore of reverse layups. 
But Blue Thunderbomb from deep for Quebec. Midi-H can't convert, loses it. Quebec with numbers in transition. Kick out and rip and go towards the baseline, but stops. Alberta recovers defensively. And, oh, if she caught that clean, the high-low was there. Still makes the connection. Skip on the diagonal out. Front rim and off, but big board there. Tale, Macadome. And we're gonna have a timeout. Not much choice here, down 25. Alberta needs to check it. In the immortal words, check yourself before you wreck yourself. Alberta needs to do so right now with any hope of coming back in this one. And shout out to Mike McKay as he strolls in front of all our sponsors, right in front of the keg. We hit that up on uh, Thursday night, delicious meal at the keg. Shameless plug, go get yourself a Cake cl cl Classic Prime Rib. It is delicious. Other great sponsors here, CCAA. I'm a proud coach of that organization at Concordia University. Fanatics Canada Basketball, Government of Canada, Flair Airlines, MLSE, Toyota, City of Edmonton, my home and native land, The Keg, Sun Life, Gatorade, Nike, Sportsnet, Laziz, Shawarma, love a good Shawarma, and Molten, official ball of the FIBA game for the real game, Molten Basketballs. Wheel de Boer de la C, LLP. I'm guessing the law firm of Canada Basketball. And Victory, which is at the end, which is what these teams are both seeking, looking to finish the story that they started at the start of the week. Both hunting down that gold. Looking to put that belt on, pin their opponent one, two, three here. And Olivia Leung, that's what you need coming out of that timeout. A little bit of zone pressure look from Quebec and Alberta finds an open shot at a key time here late in the third. Now they need to follow it up with a stop. That's gonna be the real key. They also in a zone look and Quebec off the mark, but the rebound and the block But the ball will go back to Quebec. 5.7 seconds left here in the third quarter. Alberta needs to lock down here, keep Quebec off the sheet in the final five. Hands on that ball. Cannot find it though. Demoa. Wow. Honestly, speechless there for a second. Um, not much you can do about that one. Alberta tips the ball twice in the final 5.7. Ball still finds Demoa. She still finds nothing but net from about 26 feet out. Um, I don't know what to tell you on that one. That's just good. That's good. Nothing you can do except start to um, refocus in the quarter break. So leaders after three. Augustine with 26, Denis with 15, Tale Madokum with Ohms, that's 11, right? Nidhi Yeich for Alberta with 18, Olivia Leung, 17, Decep, Jada Quili, Cease, Ernie Aranuha, Sank, and Brooke Wagner with Trois. I can do the single digits, folks. The double figures. Von Cease, is that 26? I believe so. Augustine has hit her double-double. Von Cease on the points, owns on the rebounds. Bissette, Cease on the assists. Denis with four. Augustine, Sank. Cat with four. Cat, right? Cat, Sank, Cease, Set, Wheat, Nuf, Dies. I know him, don't worry. 
I did learn a little bit in the large amount of French they do make us take, but that was a long time ago. Last time I took a French course, it was last century. So, Quebec flags flying proud, running up and down the sideline. Let's see if we can get an answer from Alberta on that one. And someone cutting through. I don't know what happened to one of our signs there. Alberta will have the ball here to start the fourth. Olivia Leung queuing it in to Queeley. Leung will get it back. And Ernie Aranuha again looking for Leung. Roll not there. Great rotation defensively. Leung, though, no, finding space from three. Let me talk to you, Olivia Leung. From deep. Yeah. Demoa, step back, can't find it. And we're going to get a foul on the rebound. That one's going to go against Quebec. Alberta, you'll take that. Third foul on Tale Makuodum. Again, I really apologize. I've probably said that name six or seven different ways. Regardless, Marie Grace is her first name. She is having a good night for Quebec. Poked away. And that one is going to drop. Laura, no, not Laura. That is Frédéric Tremblay with the score off the steal. Oh, and what do we got here? Second player to go down for Alberta. This is unfortunate. Training staff out. Looks like something buckled. Hopefully, this is a cramp situation and nothing else. I believe that is Ernie Aranuha down on the court for Alberta. Again, she's been playing hard all week for this squad. Would hate to see anything serious come out of this. Already lost Yar Tong this evening. Looks like it might be lower back. Not entirely sure. Don't want to over speculate from up here in my on my perch on the track. So we sit at 81.55 in favor of Quebec. Did spend a few days out in Montreal a couple of years ago. Didn't get to see a lot of the city. As again, it was a basketball tournament, a lot of time in the gym. Uh, CCAA Nationals that year out at, uh, where were we? Montmorency, I believe. Yes, Montmorency was where we were. I believe that is in Laval. And if you are a Letterkenny fan, you know that's where the DGENs from upcountry come in Quebec. But we also know great fishing in Quebec. And she's going to pop up. Looks like she'll be OK. Able to jog off a little bit under her own power. Happy to see it. A <laughs> little bit of a confused look. And you do have to sub out if they do come uh, see you with the trainer, so she's going to have to take a beat here on the sideline real quick. Again, already shorthanded tonight. Yartong out. Haven't seen Kira Airy on the floor. I believe she tweaked something last game. 
unable to go tonight. Um, that's a big loss for this squad um, heading into this tough matchup with Quebec. Olivia Leung, great defense, but off the rim, no, can't find it. Great rebound, second chance opportunity. Leung will let it fly from three. That doesn't go. And that is, let's see if that's Denis or Demoa. That's Demoa with the uh, rebound. Oof. Too good. Alice Villieu from deep. 84, 55, 29 point golf. 8.05 to go here in the fourth quarter. Back rimming out, can't go down. Demoa, she's off to the races. Cross, go, pull back. High post entry, and we're gonna get a travel. Alberta will take over. Four new checks coming in for Quebec, one for Alberta. Again, everyone here that participated this week, plenty to be proud of. No matter where your team finishes, the work, effort, and uh, time that it, you put in to be here, um, worth celebrating. Although, we keep score for a reason, we hand out medals for a reason. Everyone came here trying to win, and these two teams, the last two standing with the opportunity to do it. Quebec, sizable advantage, no quit in Alberta though. 84-57 on that last bucket. Um, number 11, Sarah Barsh, getting one home. Kick out three. Wow. Again, tell me I'm telling lies. Quebec's ball movement is world class. They are moving it, grooving it, putting it home. Here they come in transition. Suzuki tries to stop it. She does get to do a good job getting in the way. Quebec cannot convert on that one. Poked away. Good hands. That's Denis. Don't be a menace, but she has been defensively causing Canadian nightmares for Alberta. Over the top, almost finds its way home. Looking for Augustine in transition. She's still sitting at 26 and 11. 30 point gap now, 87, 57 in favor of Quebec. Time running out on Alberta. The stone saying time is on my side. Right now, not really for Alberta. We will not get any sympathy for the devil if Alberta, if we are that. Quebec taking it to the hosts here in the final. And they push it out off the turnover. Miss off the mark, Davson off the mark on the second and third chance. Kick out, this might work out in a nice way for Alberta, and it does. That gets them to 60. Nicely done there. Step back, that's gonna be short. And step out before the attempted save. The show will come back in for Quebec. Wagner back in for Alberta. 5.04 to go, 27 point game. Quebec, Alberta. And that's going to be a foul on to show. Only the second foul called this whole quarter. Both of them on Quebec.
Jada Queeley on the take. Kick out, finds Daphson. Yeah! Oh, yeah. We'll go full Macho Man on that. We'll snap into the Slim Jim. 63 on the board now for Alberta. 87 for Quebec. Kick out, ball movement. And poked away, and that's going to be out off Quebec. Good hands by Augustine, just not quite good enough. Alberta will get possession. Again, play the full 40. No matter what the score is, you go, you go, you go. Maybe if there's less than a shot clock left and it is out of hand, you pull it out. But keep going, keep working. There's still four minutes and 19 seconds on the clock. Queeley going to the line. She knocks these down. Alberta, no doubt, will start getting up with their pressure. Again, love to see them still huddling, talking about it. Quebec will make a couple of changes. Drops in for Queeley. Second one good as well. Damoa will... Work it up the floor. They lose track on that one, but no harm, no foul. Miss on the layup. And Nitty Yates with the screen for Queeley. She euros, she steps, she's short, but pops up. Wagner is able to secure the board. Kick out Davson, she lets it go. She hit her last one. Can't find that one, that's gonna be over the back on Ernie Aranuha. First foul on Alberta this quarter. 3.51 on the clock. The Quebec faithful starting to feel it a little bit. It's quieted down a little bit on the baseline. The Alberta girls still excited though. Keep pumping them up ladies. We still have time, but would be nothing short of a miracle at this point. Get action up top, float, short. Wagner, she pushes off the uh, miss. Olivia Leung, spin a Rooney. Can't find the Tooney. And we're gonna have a foul. Two shots on that one for Wagner. A little loose interpretation of what shots are, but uh, if you are Alberta, you'll take that. Chance to put points up with the clock stopped. And we will see Kyla Karich coming back in the game for Victoria Davson. Brooke Wagner knocking it down. Good job by her on the glass to earn this opportunity at the charity stripe. That one rattles out though. Augustine with the board. Demola gets free. Swing, Wagner has to rotate. And a little late on that rotation. And a finish for Quebec, 89-66. Three and change to go. Steal by Demoa. Bounce pass forward. And a finish. Laura Bilodeau. Oh no. That's trouble for Alberta. 91-66. As we are under the three minute mark. Left in the gold medal game. Again, we've touched on it many times, but a big thank you to all of those involved this week in putting on these championships. Could not have done it without uh, a small army of volunteers. Still seeing some great hustle out there from them, getting the sprints in with the broom, making sure the paint is clean. But again, from merch sales, ticket sales, uh, everything in between, uh, could not be more grateful to our volunteers this week. Natalie, Dion, Jeff, my partners in crime here at Alberta Basketball. Our pleasure bringing this event to you from 
the University of Calgary in the shadow of the Rocky Mountains. Great to be with you. Great to see this event go so well. We're closing in on the end. We've still got three more minutes of basketball to finish up here before we close this one out. Hip Hop Hooray. A little more hooray on the Quebec side. Not so yay on the Alberta side at the moment. Leung working against Damoa. That's been a great guard matchup. Can't find the rim. Ball back over to Quebec. Damoa working against Leung. Really enjoyed watching this matchup. Um, seeing them uh, for the second time against each other this week and in other matchups against other teams. Again, they've been a couple of standouts. Would not be surprised to see their names called um, as tournament all-stars here as we award uh, those uh, along with the medals here at the end of the championships. Um, again, basketball a team game, but there are great individual performances along the way. And those will be acknowledged along with the medals here afterwards. So stay tuned to see uh, the presentations uh, here on Canada Basketball's YouTube channel. And, oh, that did not go in. But Wagner with some great work on the glass. Chance to tally a couple of more from the free throw line. And Suzuki looks coming up to the uh, table along with Sarah Barch. Going to get uh, a couple more minutes of PT here as we close out our time in the Jack Simpson gym. University of Calgary, they've been a tremendous partner in helping put this event on. Shots good for Wagner. Makes both. Suzuki and Barched into the game. Wagner and Ernie, oh sorry, Queeley, that's Queeley checking out. Ernie Aranuha already on the bench. Might be all but the coronation now. But Quebec is still moving that ball around. And two more points for them, 95. They may be looking at uh, putting a Borden on the board, getting that Brown Bill, 100. That's who's on our 100, right? Is it a Borden? I think so, or is he on the 50? Clearly don't have a lot of those in my wallet. Does anyone have that much cash in their wallet anymore? At least our money is colorful when it is out there. And Alberta secures that rebound. Suzuki will bring it. And Leung with the take. And one. Again, you can see she's pretty tired. She's had to do a lot of work uh, facing that pressure tonight from Quebec. Um, and then having to defend such quick players. Um, as we said before, those guards, Denis, Damoa, to show, they hit the light switch, they're in bed before the room's dark, they're that quick. And Quebec will secure it. Alberta does hit 70 here. 25 point game. Kick out for Quebec. They're gonna swing it around. And off the mark, fouled though. And going to the line for a couple more. Marie Grace, Tale, Makurodum. 40.7 to go.
First one is good. Second one on its way momentarily. Up and off, side rim. It's gonna hit a Quebec hand on the way. Alberta will take over. And the Quebec faithful starting to rise to their feet. They can feel it, can start to count those chickens. They're hatching, Suzuki with another bucket, but it is not gonna be enough. We can say it now, Quebec, you have been the best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be in 2023. The execution of excellence that you have displayed. You are gonna be leaving the Jack with gold tonight. That one's off. Final rebound to Quebec. And enjoy it, Quebec. Big win for La Belle Provence over Alberta. Final score, 96 for Quebec, 72 for Alberta. Congratulations to La Belle Provence. They are your 2023 Canada Basketball 17U Girls Champions. Alberta, hold your head up high. You battled all week, earned your opportunity here to the final. Some tough injuries along the way today, earlier in the week, you still found your way here. Um, you can see the disappointment and that's good. You should not be okay with losing no matter the circumstances when you're a competitor at a high level like this. Um, sportsmanship though, important as well. And now we will see Quebec gather as they pose one fingers. Oh no, they're going with the W, held high. Perfect week for Quebec. They get through it unscathed. They will huddle at center. They will enjoy this. Final tallies on the points. Let's get a refresh here. Let's make sure we've got the right totals uh, for these young ladies on their outstanding performances here today. Leading the way for La Belle Provence, Patricia Augustine, 26 points, 12 rebounds. Denis, she was awesome with 15. Marie Grace Tally Marocum, she records 14. Bissette with nine. Villieu with eight. Leading the way for Alberta, Liv Leung, 22 points. Followed up by Nidhi Yeich with 18. Jada Quigley with eight. Brooke Wagner chipping in with six. Bissette for Quebec also registering nine. Uh, rebounds, Demoa with seven, Tale, Madokum with six, Aranuha for Alberta with six, their leading rebounder. Assists for Quebec, Beset with seven, Augustine with six, Demoa with five, Denis with five. Very telling when you see the rebound numbers uh, and the assist numbers. Uh, Quebec showed their class here today. Uh, and again, I remind you how impressed I was with their uh, ball movement, with their team play. Um, coached well, top to bottom. Um, Alberta as well coached well, top to bottom, but Quebec just too good tonight. We see the table uh, being brought out. The awards are there. Medals will be given. Seeing the Oscan family walk by. Have a wonderful night. Always good to see Air Hyatt. Welcome back to Alberta. He just spent some time on the East Coast out in PEI. Loved it too much back here at home in Alberta. Had to come back home. The big fella Topaz Nanani. Pleasure to coach him for a couple of years. He's working about to, I think, work the flags. Are we going to get the flags from Topaz? No. Nope. He is just doing something. We will get our medal winning teams here shortly. All the medals need to be awarded still. Um, 15U and 17U medals. So are we going to keep the broadcast rolling through the medals? You bet. I'll do my best to uh, commentate as we go. No, go ahead. Fans filing out. Should stay for the awards. Come on now. 
Got to stay for the awards. <laughs> You gotta stay for the awards. Oh yeah. And there's yeah, lots. Yeah. There's still yeah, still more to the for show. Sure. Thank you. You got it. All right, couple minutes as we get set up here. Again, cannot thank everyone enough for all the contributions this week. Volunteers, staff, Canada Basketball, University of Calgary, all the sponsors. We had the Calgary Surge here with their tent all week. We've got the first ever CEBL Battle of Alberta for playoff basketball. Surge, their first year here in Calgary. They finished first in the Western Conference. Stingers, I believe, were third or fourth, but they upset the Winnipeg Sea Bears yesterday in Winnipeg on the road. They are now perhaps already maybe here in Calgary, but at least on their way. Uh, they will face the Surge tomorrow night. I believe Windsport Center is the home of the Surge. If you are watching here from Alberta, go get, uh, go get your tickets for that one and go check out a packed house. So far this year, the uh, Surge have had the Stingers number. In fact, earlier in the year, the Surge, biggest comeback ever in uh, target score time. If you're not familiar with uh, how the CEBL works at the end of games, they play to a target score. As soon as four minutes are left on the clock in the fourth, first whistle after that four minute mark, the time is stopped. They create a target score, which is plus nine of who's ever in the lead. And both teams then try to get to that number first. There was a game earlier in the year, I believe it was a 16 point gap, the Stingers were up. They added nine, so the Surge had to outscore the Stingers by 25, 20, 25 points to the Stingers nine, and they accomplished that feat. So we are about to get underway here, and we will have the dignitaries from Canada basketball, Mike McKay probably leading the way, Jeff Bailey, who you heard from earlier on this broadcast, representing Alberta basketball in this situation. Big T, Topaz Nanani down there, working that mic cord. He has it, so you will listen to every dang word he has to say. He did a great job. Topaz worked many different jobs this week for us. Table crew, merchandise sales, equipment chauffeur for me. Really appreciate everything he's done as one of our summer students. He heads back. He's a member of the St. Mary's Huskies University basketball team. Uh, he is the big T, close to seven feet. We listed at that, we hear the girls like it better when you list them at seven feet. So uh, we tell him he's a seven footer. Topaz heading back for his second year with the Huskies. Again, things getting organized here. Waiting for the awards. Few fans hanging around to support their winning teams. Let's take a look here. Leaders overall for the tournament. Let's dive into that for a minute. So, on the 17U side, where we are here, um, I'm going to say Patricia Augustine's looking like an MVP candidate. She led this thing in points and assists 22 a game uh, Izzy Fust for uh, Manitoba bringing up the scoring in second place 17.9 a game Reed from Newfoundland and Labrador 17.3 Paige Shetkowski from uh, Manitoba great uh, very Jokic-esque like player she averaged 17.3 and then the next two scores, Olivia Leung, Nidhi Yeic from Alberta, 17 and 15 respectively. Um, very telling here. And again, we talked about the ball movement with Quebec. Uh, all game here and other broadcasts. The three leading per game assists players in the 17 you draw, Augustine, Bissett, and Damoa. Um, very telling uh, about their uh, performance as a group. And again, as we scroll down, there's another, there's a familiar name at the top of rebounding's. That's Patricia Augustine with 
2.3 a game, a game. And Reed from Newfoundland, she's in contention for an award here as she had 10 a game. So averaging double doubles for both of those on total rebounds. Um, steals, Olivia Leung, no surprise there. She was a thief in the night. Every game out there. Blocks, Rachel Okoko from Ontario again. She got that garbage out of there frequently. Total field goals made in the tournament. Uh, Paige Schakowsky from uh, Manitoba leading the way with 43 of them. Reed from Newfoundland and Labrador. All right, we're going to have teams coming in here for the closing ceremonies now. Three pointers made on the week. Another, uh, another total. Simmons from New Brunswick. Saw her play a couple of times. Really solid shooter. Field goal percentage. This will come as no surprise. Patricia Augustine, 60.9% from the field. Absolutely outstanding. Um, Olivia Leung from Alberta leading the tournament in free throw percentage at 82.6. Jansen from British Columbia at uh, 76.2. So Leung, only player over the 80% uh, mark. Those are your leaders on the 15 U side. Let's take a peek over at the 15, or sorry, 17 U side. 15 U side leaders. Uh, Alex Newsom from Prince Edward Island. Got to do one of their games earlier in the week. She was fantastic. 22.2 um, a game. Uh, Noor from British Columbia. Uh, we saw her just be a force to be reckoned with in the bronze medal game. She's at 21.8. Coached by her dad there on, uh, on that BC squad. Special moment for them, no doubt. And from Manitoba, Shaw, 17.7. And from Nova Scotia, Hoyt. Rounding it out. Average assists uh, leading the way. Of, uh, Amanda Gus from Alberta. I really liked watching her this week as well. She was great. Uh, rebounding. Uh, Achiak from Newfoundland, 12.5 a game. Second, Ryan Deuster from uh, Saskatchewan watched her a couple of times, got to call a couple of her games. She was also really good this week. 12.2 uh, rebounds a game. And again, as stated before, leading scorer uh, is Newsom. She's also third in rebounding at 12, so she averaged a double-double for the week. Uh, Hayden Cott for Saskatchewan also tops in the rebounding. And let's scroll it down here. Average blocks. Dongleman's from Ontario. No surprise there. A lot of length getting it done. Dorpin from a New Brunswick leading in steals, 4.3 a game. Newsom in second, though, um, with four a game. Total field goals made, Nor from British Columbia, 42 of them. Um, great job by her. Field goal percentage, Ryan Deuster from Saskatchewan. Again, not surprised to see that, her leading the way in this tournament. Free throw percentage leader, Castres from Manitoba, 76.9. Total free throws made though, Newsom from Prince Edward Island, 28 of them on the week. Those are your statistical leaders for the 15U girls as those teams are marching into the gym now, all in their matching outfits. Again, a lot goes into that stuff. You know, you see them come in in this nice stuff, nice gear, all lined up. That's some great behind the scenes work. Um, I know the, the, the crew we have with ABA, Dion took on that lead and made our crews, our squads look great all summer long. So again, to all the young athletes out there, appreciate those who work behind the scenes, your coaches, your administrators. A lot goes into making it so that you can just step on the court and play. Something I know I didn't appreciate well enough when I was a youngster. That's an old guy word right there, youngster. Yeah, appreciate those who work to put this on. As the game grows here in our great country, more and more people are needed to, uh, 
to make these things happen because there's so many people that want to play and it takes a lot of great people stepping up to make all of that happen. We've got Nova Scotia coming in, Newfoundland right behind them. Got to see this Nova Scotia team earlier today. They had a big win over New Brunswick. Newfoundland's been, you know, one of the teams that's been talked about a lot. Again, those maritime provinces, hope we still have some fans of yours watching. A lot uh, of great stuff happening there. Small populations, not as many athletes to draw from, yet always tough, always competitive. They uh, find their way to be in games. I, I In my coaching time with Team Alberta, a lot of close, tough matchups with provinces from the Maritimes. Tons of respect for what they do and how they work to build up their programs in their provinces. Team Ontario. Manitoba coming in now. Again, they've done a great job, produced some great talent on the women's side. Uh, I've been around in the PSO world for 10 years now and seen great things out of the Canada, out of the heartbeat of Canada, I believe. I believe that's what we call them. Home of the Sea Bears, we know that. Home of the Blue Bombers. Home of the Jets as well. And Alberta, where'd you go? Come on in, ladies. We're waiting for you. And guess not. Alberta. Don't got to go home, but you can't stay here, I guess. So we'll let somebody else come in first. Not sure where our team ran off to. Quebec coming on in now instead. We'll let them get organized. Alberta, thinking about it still, I guess. Come on in, explore the space. Let's have some more cowbell. And we're going to start the marching band over again. Maybe not. If you weren't with us at the start of the 17, you find we had a little issue with the... Uh, the anthem, but in Canadian-like fashion, the crowd picked it up and we had a lovely vocal rendition from everyone in the gym. And we're still waiting on Alberta. Guess we are at home, we're not the ones in a hurry apparently. Holding up the show, Alberta. Holding up the show. I've got a date with either kind of decide to drive home tonight or enjoy one more night here in Calgary. Either way, I got a pillow calling my name. Let's go, Alberta. Maybe let's just go going without them. I don't know. Yeah, 
Again, some of the good folks from Canada Basketball that have been here all week. I think we've got Lynn on the floor down there, and then maybe that's Benjamin. Have to see up close, but thank you to the Canada Basketball staff that's here in town. And one more shout out to our referees this week. Great job by them um, overall officiating the tournament. A lot of pressure on them throughout the week. They did a phenomenal job. You see a lot of younger officials at this event, the development. Again, players develop, coaches develop. You need to see referee development as well. And great strides being made in that area as well here in Canada. We've got Happy playing in the background. We'd all be more happy if Alberta would uh, join us here in the gym. Going to have to start making some calls. That's right, Jeff. Let's just get us going here. Mike McKay, again, rocking the old school 80s version of Canada basketball gear. Love it. We'll point the mic out towards Jeff and let him take it away. Before we begin, I'd like to join the land acknowledgement. The University of Calgary, who are getting the hardest of the world, both in college and history in traditional territory. Hot mic. The Eagles of Treaty 7, which include the Black Flag Confederacy, comprised of the Sitsika, the Kami, and the Kaimai First Nations, the Sutina First Nation, and Stony Dakota, including the Chinooki, the Bearspaw, and Good Stony First Nations. The city of Calgary is also home to the Métis Nation of Alberta.
Now presenting the plaque for first place, the team captain from British Columbia.
number 12, Kira Curry. Number 13, Nadine Hitch. And number 14, Brooke Wagner. Assistant coach, Lauren Green. Megan Wickstrom. Haley Fedek. And Mary St. Arm. Head coach, Isabel Orman.
first team all stars from Team Alberta, Mia Dang Beach.
to all the 